What's going on guys, welcome to the video. Snoop Moggy Mog took questions at the dispatch box yesterday when setting out parliamentary business for next week in his role as leader of the House of Commons. Now as you might expect, there was many highlights during his exchanges with these undemocratic EU collaborators, so I picked out a few for this video. He wrecks Labour's position against the general election because they fear Boris would change the date once they agreed to the poll. But it would now seem they want the election to be before the 31st of October, not after. So the onus is on Labour to find some courage and go to the polls with their Remain stance. Jacob Rees-Mogg also efficiently shuts down the Ramonan MP who has a problem with Jacob destroying the Doctor earlier this week in relation to Project Yellow Snow's scare story the Remain stream media have been fussing over for the last few weeks. Of course you'll remember this Doctor came on the LBC show with Nick Ferrari and said the mortality rate after Brexit would increase, even though he had never done any research into it and was only a neurologist. So only did a very limited part of Yellow Snow. So let's check out what Moggy had to say. We've recently learned that uh, free movement is, as we know it is to end on October the 31st. During the referendum campaign, the current Prime Minister made a great deal of decisions not being made without the democratic agreement of this Parliament. Can we be assured that in the current circumstances, the biggest change to immigration in this country in a decade will not be made without the approval of Parliament? Oh, Mr Speaker, let's have an election. Let's let the British people decide. Stop running away from it, not you, Mr Speaker, but others in this House. Um, it, it is so ridiculous to say that this government is outrageous and it's undemocratic and it's shocking and it's terrible because it's offering an election. An election gives the choice to the British people and validates whatever we do. So first we have this EU collaborating mass immigration support in Trollop that wants these undemocratic fuck pigs in Parliament to decide on something that was a vital part of the referendum campaign because she does not like it. When we leave the EU, mass immigration has to stop. Australia-style point system is the way to go. It's fair and it's the best system to use. I thought Labour supported working classes being paid more anyway. It really goes to show how far from base Labour actually is now. I'm sure most of their supporters would much prefer less immigration and higher wages if these MPs actually told them the truth, that is. Of course, Moggy ain't taking her shit. He states, let the British people decide in an election instead of running away from it. It's been a theme of these exchanges since this place is full of cowards. It's all he really needs to say. He then goes on to point out the stupidity in Labour's position because they claim this government is outrageous and dictatorial but they are asking for an election which the cowards opposite won't do because they know they will lose and have to admit the country wants to leave the EU. Clive Efford. If the House agrees to an election date on the 15th of October on Monday, the Leader of the House is very knowledgeable about procedural issues. Is there any device that the Prime Minister could use to move that date to be on the 31st of October whilst the House is prorogued in order to take the country out with no deal? The date of the election flows from the date of dissolution. No. No, it's not. The election follows 25 working days from the date of dissolution. And therefore, if we are dissolved on Monday, then, but that is done, the, the, the process for that, no, no, it's not, a, that's a mistake. It is not a minimum once the dissolution day is set. It is 25 working days from dissolution. No, what the Honourable Gentleman is confusing is when the day of dissolution is set, and that is done by Royal Proclamation. But what I can assure the House about is that the date will be set and the date will be stuck to. I think everybody, everybody in this House wants to see this issue settled. It is the one thing we have agreement about. And the best way to settle it is through a general election and a general election before the 31st uh, of October. So the next European Union MP decides to directly ask Jacob if the government will stick to an election date they set. Of course, terrified, Boris will change the date and put them up shit creek. Why do they not have much confidence in their bill is what I'm wondering now. I thought their bill tied the hands of the PM and stopped a no-deal Brexit. That was why they did it. But the irony here is that he's desperate to know there is no sneaky or backhanded device the PM can use to change the election date, since I expect he realises they have used sneaky and underhanded tactics to get this bill through the House of Commons, 
like the true traitors that they all are. Jacob then begins explaining to these Labour simpletons, once they dissolve Parliament on Monday, an election is 25 working days after that. The government would need to dissolve Parliament and call an election much later in September or October to have one after Halloween. Of course, the morons with no clue what they are talking about, who got their information from biased activists or mainstream media tosspots, start screaming and shouting because someone is telling the truth and they don't like it. Why don't they just admit that they're all too lily-livered to risk losing their £80,000 a year job and the £200,000 a year expenses that go with it? They're freeloading scumbags in my opinion. Jacob ends that clip telling these traitors the date will be set and the date will be stuck to so these Labour MPs have no leg to stand on when using that as an excuse to hide from a general election and the British public that they have betrayed. Doesn't the Leader of the House understand that such is the lack of trust in this government because of its behaviour that we simply will not vote for a general election unless and until an extension of Article 50 has been secured, guaranteeing this country cannot be dragged out with no deal. That's the condition. Well, Mr Speaker, the condition seems to change because the condition was that the legislation was passed. Now, if and, enact, and enacted, given royal assent, it, it, given royal assent is the point at which it's enacted. It's what becomes an act. Now, if that is the law of the land, that will be the law of the land. And if members think it through, the government would not want an election after that law had taken effect and we'd had to ask for an extension. The last thing this government wants to do is to ask for an extension. Therefore, then win an election. That's the easy part of it. If you really have confidence in what you say, then go for an election. That is the obvious point. And this weasel wording that we get to try and pretend they want an election, but they don't want an election and they're not going to vote for one because we might leave, is all about stopping Brexit by people who don't trust their own voters. Jim Shannon. Well, we get our next MP who, upon hearing the election will be set in stone as the 15th of October, decides to change the goalposts and demands an extension first. Because they know they're going to lose a general election, these lot are cowards. As Moggy rightly points out, at first they only wanted the law passed and enacted which these MPs seem to struggle with comprehending. How the fuck are these idiots even MPs when they don't understand how the laws that they are there to pass actually becomes law? This is astonishing. I mean, Mog has to explain basic common sense to these idiots like they are children. I'm guessing the EU offered them a sweetie to sell out this country, as that's all it would need when you're dealing with four-year-olds like these idiots. Moggy rightly points out, if you want to extend the Brexit deadline and have confidence in what you say, go for an election and put it to the people. He finished up smashing these Ramonian traitors who don't trust their own voters, because of course, they don't trust what they want and they don't trust their chances of being re-elected either. They are just... Traitor! Traitor! Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Could the Leader of the House confirm if it's a government tactic to cause reputational damage to experts such as Dr. David Nicholl, who dared to challenge the government yes, or indeed exactly. raised legitimate concerns about the impact of no deal? Yeah, frankly, I think when people start saying people are going to die because of Brexit, their reputations are destroyed by themselves. I'm extremely grateful to the Leader of the House and to colleagues. Okay, so the EU collaborating spunk trumpet is moaning that Mog shit on this Ramonian doctor who took part in the Yellow Snow Project Fear document and then decided to call into LBC recently and claim that Brexit is going to create a high mortality rate that Mog thoroughly shit on during that call, and I also did a video on it. It seems this doctor's reputation might have been damaged by taking part in the Project Fear campaign, along with ringing up LBC and talking the crap that he did. These EU collaborators have now decided to lay the blame on Mog, instead of the tosspot doctor who made the stupid claims on national radio. Snoop Moggy Mog efficiently shits on that claim, because as he rightly states, anyone who goes on radio and claims people will die because of Brexit are damaging their own reputation. That's right, Jacob. Don't back down to these cowards. You have to double down on these worthless fuck pigs who think it's a good idea to claim people will die from Brexit. It's insanity. The guy deserves to be laughed out of the medical profession, in my opinion. 
I would refuse to let him treat me based around the stupidity he demonstrated when he called up the LBC show. I find it ridiculous this guy expected anything different when making these wild claims. It was always going to make him look like a tit in the eyes of anyone with half a brain cell. Well, as we all knew he would, Mog shits on the lie and collaborators at every turn. There was many more exchanges that were equally worthy of bringing up. I'll maybe do another video on them if you guys are interested. But for the sake of time, there wasn't really any point in adding anything extra to this one. These traitors are now showing their spineless nature for everyone to see. They're scared of Brexit and scared of an election. They're scared of their own shadow, I think. Well, I'm going to end the video there, guys. I want to thank the channel's PayPal, Patreon, and Subscribestar members for supporting the channel, along with everyone who watches my videos. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Leave a like, subscribe with the notification bell, and share this video as it helps the channel a lot. And I will see you all in the next one.